Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about the complement receptor 1 or CR1. CR1 is a transmembrane glycoprotein also known as C3B C4B receptor or CD35. CR1 is expressed on erythrocytes, leukocytes such as polymorphic nuclear cells and glomerular podocytes. CR1 play a fundamental role in removing immune complexes from circulation and during the process of phagocytosis. These functions are covered in other videos. CR1 is a membrane-bound complement regulatory protein and it has two main activities. One is called cofactor activity for factor I and decay accelerating activity. These activities or functions of CR1 are covered in this video. In certain circumstances, the complement system can activate on the cell surface of host cells, such as red blood cells, represented by C4B and C3B deposition. CR1 is a cofactor for factor I, which means that we allow factor I to proceed and bind to C4B and C3B to perform their function. Factor I is a protease that will cleave C4B and C3B, generating IC4B or IC3B. IC4B or inactive C4B will not be able to form the C3 convertase C4B C2B, and IC3B or inactive C3B will not be able to form the C3 convertase C3B BB. Therefore, CR1 plays a fundamental role as a cofactor for factor I to inactivate C4B and C3B. CR1 has a decay accelerating activity. If C4B and C3B are deposited on the cell surface of red blood cells, they may form the C3 convertase of the classical pathway and lactic pathway C4B C2B or the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway C3B BB. If this happens, CR1 will recognize the C3 convertase and remove C2B or remove BB from the C3 convertases, which means that CR1 is accelerating the decay of the convertases. In summary, CR1 is a membrane bound complement regulatory protein that has a decay accelerating activity and is also a cofactor for factor I. When you finished watching this video, please help us to determine if this video was helpful for you by using the thumb up or down key. Thank you.